Greetings. Welcome to my channel, A Place to Dock. I am Julia, and thank you so much for joining me. We are going to do a weekly reading for July the 4th to the 10th. And first, I'm going to just read a little note that I have. I consecrate and clear this space and fill it full of loving grace. And let's clear our energy, be ready to receive, and let's see what messages we can glean for our own lives and for this coming week. So I've used the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins cards. I've pulled an Oracle card for every day. And then we're going to use the Mystic Dreamer card deck again. And uh, we'll see what those cards say. And those are these ones here. I'm just going to shuffle them one more time. And see the Death card and the Nine of Swords there. That means let's stop worrying. Okay, for Monday, let's start. Monday we have the card that says, dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. So see yourself succeeding. Let go of small thoughts. Yeah, small thoughts. Maybe we should identify those small thoughts that we actually think about ourselves and then turn them into big dreams. So let's see what we can learn about that. Letting go of small thoughts about ourselves. Okay. We have two wonderful cards. We have, first of all, the Fool card. So let's begin something new. When we let go of all those old thoughts about ourselves, those small things that we don't like about ourselves, then we can actually start something new and take a new risk on something and enjoy the journey and begin something whole brand new. And we know that we're supported. And in this deck, he's cute. He's um, He's, he's just like doing a dance. So just focus on your own happiness. And then the next card we have is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is definitely brand new loving thoughts that we can think about ourselves. So that's what we need to do is really focus on self-care. That is July the 4th. So enjoy that holiday. And um, so maybe when you're on that day, you can go in some water lay your head down and think what are the things i want to dream about what are the things i want to start what are the things that are calling me this is uh, the fool card he's reaching for something new and that's what we're being called to do and we're being given the blessing with the ace of cups that goes with starting something new so when we're beginning something new it's going to be wonderful it's going to fill us with joy and abundance and loving thoughts and and so we can let go of all our self-worthlessness and dream big. Tuesday, we have simplify your life. And that says, eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Simplify your life. And this one says, eliminate the clutter. That's a tricky one for some of us. <laughs> eliminate the clutter from your home and your work life. So maybe we can instill new little um, practices that we could do to help us clean up with clutter. I once watched a video on that and she said, set yourself time every day at the end of the day, just 10 minutes, put yourself an alarm on and um, just clean up something. And then you, you're training yourself, but you're also cleaning it up at the same time and you're just doing it daily. And here we have the strength card. So we definitely are learning self-control and self-mastery. We're cleaning up the things that we don't need and so that we're, we can be stronger because then those things don't hold us back anymore and clutter up our thoughts as well. And then we have the Four of Cups. So she is pawn, probably thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to get rid of all these things. She, but they've not really self-satisfied her. So when we're looking at all the things that we're decluttering, really analyze have they really given us that um that spark you know spark of life um I'm not sure which her name is marie kondo and she says you know that spark so we are given that spark in the things that we have so cherish those things that we enjoy and look for new things that bring us new joy and release those things that hold us back and declutter, declutter to simplify our life. 
that's great. When we can simplify our life, we think better, we act better, we eat better, we live better. So that's what we want. Okay, for Wednesday, we have music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. So maybe you can't play a harp, but maybe you can. <laughs> so play some music, but play the music when you're thinking of your dream, the thing that you want to manifest. Find a song that you can latch on to and listen to it. Maybe on repeat, if you're like me, sometimes when I get into those kind of manifesting things, moments, I really listen to it over and over. And then it really gets into you and you can feel the energy of what you're manifesting, especially when you chant, hum, sing, or play music. So let's see why we need to do this and what is so unique about music for Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, first of all, we have the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is really diligent with her thinking. So when we listen to music, it's going to help us uh, develop those skills of thinking about the things that we want to manifest. And also, we're going to discard the things that we don't need to think about anymore, like we've eliminated with that simplifying our life. We're going to eliminate the thoughts that hold us back from our manifestation and we're going to think the thoughts that do. So that the Page of Swords is really good with her thoughts and she's got the skills. So we're going to develop our mental agility when we listen to that music. Also, which is a beautiful card, we have the Three of Wands and the Three of Wands says dream big. Look for your ships to come in. They are coming in and in that harbor, many new adventure adventures await. So manifest with music in here. You can even listen to the music of the wind and the water. And just let that fill your soul and anticipate the new dreams that you are manifesting. I also like just notice that in here on this card are some birds flying in the sky in the V form. And that also just says, you know, we're working together. We're moving through the air. We're going to manifest and head towards our dream, the thing that we're manifesting. We're heading towards it. Thursday, we have break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So break free. That dolphin bursts up out of the water and he gives us a smile. Okay, so let's break free. Break free, try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. What do we need when we break free? What do we need to think about and focus on? There's lots of water around that dolphin. He's supported by the water. Okay, three cards wanted to come. And they are all major arcana. Okay, first we have the Empress. This just makes me think the universe has your back. When you're breaking free, you are supported in all ways. There's something new being born. When you're breaking free, you can birth something new. Okay, that is wonderful. And then we have the world card, which is also excellent. This is for Thursday. So things are coming to full completion. When we break free, we are actually on top of the world and we can get a better perspective and see things for what they have been and for where we are going as well. And then we have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is we can either learn from someone else or we can learn from our higher self. This is definitely a teaching moment for us. So break free. And then when we do, we can also teach others as well. So that is really good. Um, the Empress, the world and the Hierophant. So when we break free, we're trying different different ventures and experiences and we're ready to start a new venture okay so let's start that new venture dream about it all week start thinking about it because we are going to break free and head into our new abundant place with that empress 
for Friday, we have Waves of Prosperity. So there's another prosperous card. New abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. Waves of Prosperity. That's a lovely card. Everybody likes that card. So new abundance is coming. New abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So that's Friday. That's a very promising day for Friday. Okay, so first of all, we have the Three of Cups, which does make sense. We're going to really be happy with this Waves of Prosperity. We're going to celebrate with close friends, and we're going to celebrate our achievements and their achievements as well. And the Waves of Prosperity also mean that the Ten of Swords here is that the old is over and it is done. So those Waves of Prosperity help us close the door on the old things that have been harmful for us and that have been really on our minds a lot and have been really putting us down and putting us on different pressure and maybe um, self-worthlessness I'm not sure if I'm saying that right but she's she may have felt her self-worth needed uh, to be the problems with that she's been thinking about herself she needed to get over that I'm not sure if I'm saying that right um, and the five of Pentacles there we go again. We're going to leave those things that no longer serve us. And we're going to head out with the waves of prosperity. We are setting ourselves free from the old harmful thoughts and the old harmful places that no longer serve us. Those two things are going to be able to leave when the waves of prosperity come in. And we're going to celebrate with friends to, with joy and in happiness. So Friday's a good day to celebrate. Focus on what you're leaving behind, but also know that you are heading into something new with your good friends. Saturday, it says playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. So joy, while we play, creates the miracles and manifestation. So this is for Saturday. Think ahead about what we can play with, what, we, what inspires us, and it is important to play okay so we're going to take these two that fell together we have the four of wands so play play with someone else go out there and enjoy a celebration a ceremony perhaps and just the love that you have play together with those that are are with you also play in the dimensions and this is going through a portal as well with the four of, of wands there's also 11 11 you can see about that there's so much in the four of wands but there's lots to be celebrated it's very stable and enjoyable so when we're playing we are actually creating a wonderful place where we can access higher dimensions so there you go that's that's the key right there so playing takes us to higher dimensions and we can release those things that we feel trapped in because we have the Eight of Swords as well. So she is feeling trapped. So when we play, we can actually find our way out. Okay. And maybe it's for little kids that play hide and seek. Take that blindfold off and go find out what you really want and where your dreams will take you when you play. So playing is great. So think about that with playing on Saturday. On Sunday, we have morning affirmations. And this might be a nice Sunday thing to do is set your affirmations for the week. It just comes to me. We could think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and write one affirmation, maybe the same one for each day, but think of something that you could make an affirmation for, perhaps for this week that we're listening for or for the week after. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. We are really focusing on manifestation this week. I see that. We're dreaming it. We're cleaning out the old things that stop us from, from manifesting. We're going to listen to music that helps us manifest. We're breaking free to try new ventures. And then the waves of prosperity come to us. And then we feel so happy we can play. <laughs> and then here we're going to set our morning affirmations and gratefulness for all the things that Spirit has done for us for the week. 
Okay, so let's see what kind of um, thought do we really need to focus on during our morning affirmation. Okay, we're going to take it. <laughs> Three of Swords. Sometimes we're going to have pain in our life and sometimes we the actions that we cause cause other people pain and we don't intend that but sometimes that just happens so when we set our affirmations we're preparing ourselves and nourishing our heart so that we can absorb this pain and then release the pain so things will come at life will come at us at heart at times and when we are doing our morning affirmations we're setting our vision for that day and where we're gonna go, what we're going to accept in our own life. So if something comes at us that hurts us, we can process it and then maybe repeat our affirmation and then let it go. So it no longer has a hold on us. And then the next card we have is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands, she's standing her ground. She has the high ground here. When we do our morning affirmations, we are setting ourselves higher than the drama that's around us. And we know our thoughts, we know our determination, and we know where we're going and what we really want in this situation. So morning affirmations will give us the clarity and the determination to see our vision through. And we are going to be able to hold fast to exactly what we want in our life. So we're gonna be able to process pain and then hold true to our vision. Wow, that's an amazing week. So what I'm going to do is pull a couple of other cards. First, I'm going to, I, I read this and I'm going to um, also just read this little blurb. It is from the book by the Almanac by Llewellyn. And it's actually an older one, but that's okay. I just picked the day that was right after the new moon in Cancer. And it says for um, creating a change spell. And that's what we're doing. We're manifesting this week. It says, for this spell, you'll need a piece of paper and a pen. Divide the paper vertically in two columns. In the left column, write down the things you wish to change. For example, I wish to become more physically fit. In the right column, write down the steps you need to take to make this change. Focus on your favorite forms of exercise, for example, walking or yoga. Finally, take a small blade or wooden pick and inscribe a candle of the color most appropriate to your goal with an affirmation of the change such as I am fit so there's our an affirmation that we can also employ this week or I am filled with energy and vibrance light the candle for a few minutes each evening while focusing on the new you until the full moon Restate your affirmations whenever you feel tempted to give your energy to fighting the old instead of building the new. I hope that was helpful for someone. That might be a great idea to write them on the left and the, and the right columns. So let's pull an animal for the week. Okay, an animal spirit guide. This is, yeah, the animal spirit, animal oracle by Colette Baron reed and I just like to have, see what animal wants to speak to us this week that we're in. Okay. This one. Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. There we go. We're going to be manifesting. The magic is working through us. We are the ones that create the magic. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, and one more card for the week. We will use an Angel Answers Oracle card for what we need to know for the week. I'm going to take three, two, three. Okay, we have, first of all, take action. There we go. Take action. Do these things that we've just went through this week. Break yourself free. Take that action that you need to do. And meditation brings answers. Meditation brings answers. And that's also with our affirmations every day that we're going to do. And choose a new direction. So there is definitely something new coming for us. So we're going to choose that new direction and move in a new place. <laughs> well, I hope that you all have a wonderful week. Please let me know if this is helpful. I really appreciate hearing all your comments and if you do like the video give it a thumbs up 
and do consider cons subscribing and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.